quantum mechanics. Since the 1970s, it's been peddled by every new age self-help guru who wanted to lend a little credibility to their ideas by suggesting that people have ultimate control over their reality. A mere thought, wish, or prayer without action could have a profound effect on your current situation or your entire life. By taking just a few of the bizarre behaviors of elementary particles and mixing it with a bit of New Age mysticism, a new branch of accessible human understanding was born. Or was it? How many of the quantum mysticism claims made by authors like Deepak Chopra or Rhonda Byrne, author of The Secret, are actually true? What exactly are their claims, and how do those claims stack up against the true scientific understanding of quantum mechanics? I've done a lot of reading about this over the past few years. I've talked with particle physicists and professors in thermodynamics, and I've read books on the subject. Imagine that. And all I could find was one misrepresentation and misunderstanding after another. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a guy with a lot of curiosity. I like to have a working understanding of things. And when I'm presented with conflicting information, I usually try to follow both lines of thought until one no longer makes sense. Usually the conflict is caused by a logical flaw, or in this case, a misunderstanding of the subject matter. From the mysticism camp, what I've been able to figure out is that the core message is about self-empowerment. Well, now how are you empowered as a human? That's the question. Apparently, you can affect the course of elementary particles in such a way that will turn a lifetime of random occurrences in your favor. Just clearly wish for something, and the universe will reorder itself on a quantum level to make your desires come true, be they negative or positive. Well, that's what I've been led to understand. But there are a few holes in this argument. How does your mind communicate with the universe exactly? How do they know this is true? It seems to me that if there was uh, an experiment as flat earth shattering as uh, to suggest that we could control our reality merely by thinking about it, uh, a paper or the experiment would be published somewhere, wouldn't it? It turns out there is such an experiment. And here's the misrepresentation and misunderstanding of the science. According to New Age Doctrine, if you conduct a quantum mechanical experiment, the experimenter can directly and measurably affect the outcome of that experiment just by observing it. Thus, you can affect your reality just by observing your reality. <sighs> the experiment they're most likely referring to is called the two-slit experiment. It shows how electrons can behave like particles or waves depending on where and how you measure them. Uh, this happens due to an interaction between the electrons and the detectors, and the electrons in themselves. And it happens regardless if the human is actually watching the experiment or not. So that kind of shoots that out of the water. In this case, the observer is a charge detector. You can actually leave the room and have a machine ruin your experiment for you. It's been shown you actually have no indirect effect on the outcome of the experiment, be it consciously, subconsciously, or spiritually. Self-empowerment is a fine sentiment on its own, so why try to hijack a tricky scientific theory just to try to lend a little bit of credibility to your claims? The reason is... Authority. If you can throw around such complex ideas such as quantum mechanics, it gives you an air of superiority and people don't want to question your claims for fear of looking dumb in your presence. But the problem is, even the most accomplished quantum physicists say that if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't.